Ronald Reagan was known as a great communicator. He made some really memorable speeches throughout his life. There's the one in 1964 called A Time for Choosing when he was campaigning for Barry Goldwater. That speech put Reagan on the national spotlight. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. But it's not the greatest. Then there's 1986 when President Reagan got on national television and gave a speech to comfort the country following the space shuttle Challenger disaster. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye and slipped the surly bonds of earth to touch the face of God. But it's not the greatest. Then there's 1987 when Reagan stood at the Brandenburg Gate there in West Germany and challenged Miguel Gorbachev to tear down the Berlin Wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Not the greatest. The greatest speech I found at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Museum in Simi Valley, California. It sits in a darkened corner near the end of the library tour there in a display case. It's dated November 5th, 1994. Ronald Reagan was 84 years of age at the time that he wrote it, and it, he wrote it following the devastating diagnosis that he received from his doctors. He had just been told that he has Alzheimer's. Nancy was heartbroken, and he was heartbroken for Nancy. We're told that Reagan slipped away into a corner table there and pulled out some stationery and began writing. I believe he began writing the greatest speech of his life. You can take a look at his black cursive writing. It's all jumbled together. There's no perfect margins. It fills two pages. It's 342 words. You know, Reagan had spent his lifetime as a wordsmith, studying words and phrases and learning the art of public speaking. And he'd, he'd learned that back during his early days in radio and then later on in Hollywood. He spent a lifetime collecting little tidbits, words of wisdom and phrases. And a lot of that he collected in these note cards that oftentimes made it into some of his speeches. But now, Reagan was just sitting there writing with just raw emotion, no filter, no speech writers. It's the greatest speech, I believe, because it was the hardest speech that Reagan ever wrote. It's very, very authentic. Now stop and think about the fear and the anxiety that Reagan had as he sat and, and wrote that letter. Reagan is very candid in that letter, and he talks about the effects of disease and the effects that it's gonna have on his loved ones in the future, and yet, he talks about his love for his country and his optimism of its future. That's so classical Reagan. He was the eternal optimist. But I also think this speech, in my mind, in my opinion, was the greatest speech he ever wrote because of the personal impact that it had on me personally. Just reading that handwritten speech, that handwritten letter, and listening to Reagan read it, it struck a very strong emotional chord with. Now stay with me, I'm gonna let you listen to and read that speech as I read it and as I, as I experienced it. But it struck a very personal chord with me because I have a loved one who is slipping away in their battle against Alzheimer's. It's hard watching your loved ones, uh, watch them gradually decline as they battle this disease. As Reagan put it, going into the sunset of their lives. Here's a portion of that speech Listen to it and, and follow along very carefully as Reagan reads it. Me to serve as your president. When the Lord calls me home, whenever that may be, I will leave with the greatest love for this country of ours and eternal optimism for its future. I now begin the journey that will lead me into the sunset of my life. I know that for America, there will always be a bright dawn ahead. Thank you, my friends. May God always bless you. We're told that Reagan's health very quickly deteriorated within the next six months. And there came a point in time in which Nancy became very, very protective of him. There was no more public appearances and she did everything to protect his dignity. Reagan lived with Alzheimer's for another 10 years and he passed away on June the 5th 
of 2004. If you haven't read that speech yet, you need to check out the link that I've provided in the show notes below. It really is a very touching speech. As we were exiting the library and walking out to our car, we came across a rattlesnake right there in the bushes that uh, align the, the walkway out to the park. Now, there are signs all around the Reagan Library that warn visitors that there are rattlesnakes that are there that's part of the natural habitat. And a library official came out and removed it. No one was ever in any danger. I was never in any danger, but but it did surprise us greatly. What do you think is Ronald Reagan's greatest speech? Was it one of the ones that I mentioned earlier? Or do you have one that you think is Reagan's greatest? I'd be curious. Why don't you drop a comment below? Let me know what you think. If you've gotten value from what you've watched today and you've learned something, hit the like button for us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel and joined our Press Politics family, hit the subscribe button now.